going to be a long, cold and dark winter for Europe. Perhaps the scariest one the continent has faced since World War II. Sure, the Cold War was quite frightful for Europe too. However, Europe's now got an actual war at its hands. And that war is raging on fiercely in Ukraine. That war has turned Europe's economy and energy sector upside down. More than the war, the sanctions Europe placed on Russia have antagonized Vladimir Putin. The Russian president has responded with the weaponization of energy supplies to Europe. But France's problems this winter are much bigger than Russia alone. France is a nuclear superpower on the power generation front. Whenever an example of a country depending mostly on nuclear energy for power is taken, France's name figures most prominently. You see, France generates roughly 70% of its electricity from a nuclear fleet of 56 reactors. All of these reactors are under the control of state-owned firm EDF. France's ability to generate electricity through nuclear energy meant that when Russia shut the gas taps off for Europe, the country was least impacted. But that was in the short term alone. Now, France is staring at the prospect of resorting to rolling power blackouts because its pride, its nuclear reactors, aren't really working. Currently, France is running only half of its nuclear plants. More than 20 nuclear plants across France are undergoing either scheduled or emergency maintenance after the discovery of cracked pipes. France's electricity shortfall is huge and it is going to have some painful consequences for the country during the winter months. Some nuclear power plants were expected to come back online this month and some were scheduled to get back on track early next month. These will not be back online before late January or early February at the very least. Several of the plants won't restart until the end of February. France's nuclear power output is currently just 30 gigawatts. That's a shortfall of 15 gigawatts. And between December and January, nuclear power plants in France are usually required to generate about 60 gigawatts of electricity. French grid operator RTE had said about a month ago that there is no risk of a total blackout this winter. But some power cuts during peak demand periods cannot be ruled out. This was said before it became news that the nuclear plants scheduled to come back online wouldn't function before January or February. So, the situation has definitely turned grave. France was not expecting such chaos right before the winters. However, faults across several nuclear plants and nationwide strikes by unions which delayed repairs have led France straight into the mouth of an energy crisis. Now, France will have to resort to power rationing. That would mean industries and businesses would pay the heaviest toll, followed by households. Basically, France did not think its winter crisis could turn so severe. Evidently, France underestimated the problem and it will now pay a heavy price for it. What do you think winters in France will look like?